And from professional football player to convicted felon to soon to be free man in just more than 48 hours, former Panther wide receiver Ray Carruth will get released from prison. He's currently serving an 18 year sentence for orchestrating a plot to kill his pregnant girlfriend. Prosecutors alleged it was all to avoid paying child support. On Monday, he'll walk out of the doors of the Sampson Correctional Facility and start his new life. NBC Charlotte's Evan West joins us from Clinton, North Carolina, where Carruth has been since 2001. Evan. There are so many layers to this story with the next chapter about to unfold in the next 48 hours whenever Ray Carruth walks out of that prison as a free man. He has served his time, but whenever he's released, he will still have plenty of questions to answer. Three men, one NFL wide receiver and a pregnant girlfriend. The Ray Carruth murder trial had it all. Money, sex, drugs and celebrities. Carruth was the first active NFL player ever charged with first degree murder. Where are you going to think to say about Rico? He was arrested Thanksgiving Day 1999 and sent here to Central Prison in Raleigh, where he slept on a top bunk with a Bible, one of the few things he was able to take. I didn't shoot nobody, sir. Known drug dealer Michael Kennedy was the man who claimed Carruth paid him to buy the gun used in the killing. He was driving the car that night. Kennedy was the first defendant in Mecklenburg County history to take the stand without a plea deal. He said that he needed a gun because he wanted to do it that night. Michael Kennedy's gamble to testify without a plea deal paid off. Kennedy got just 10 years in prison, released in 2011. Court documents show he still lives in Mecklenburg County. I fired one shot and four more shots. Bam, 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 bam. She was screaming. Van Brett Watkins, now 58, was the admitted trigger man in the plan. What kind of a man shoots an unarmed pregnant woman? A man deeply troubled. We talked to him from behind bars at the Craven Correctional Institution years ago. Reports say he has become a practicing Muslim. But remember that this man here that they call crazy and everything else, told the truth, showed remorse, and deeply cares. He will be in jail until at least 2046 when he will be 85. Sandra Adams, who lost her only child, Sharika, in the murder for hire plot, has been raising her daughter's son, Chancellor, since birth. A lot of times people say, why me, why me, why did this happen? I feel so blessed uh, to have Lee Chancellor in my life. Chancellor will be just five years younger than his mother when she was killed on the day his father walks out of prison. That walk to freedom will happen sometime Monday, but where Carruth is going, no one knows. His mother telling NBC Charlotte that after he walks out of that gate, he will get into the car owned by a friend and they will drive off to an undisclosed location. Reporting in Clinton, North Carolina, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte. Evan, thank you. And our crews will be outside Sampson Correctional Facility as Ray Carruth is released. We'll be posting updates on Facebook and Twitter, as well as have the latest right here on NBC Charlotte all weekend.